What's up, my fellow Fallen? Uh, it's Fallock here. Been a really long time. I know. Ah, well, I've already said I was going to do dailies for many, many times now. Uh, and I totally didn't. And this time was no different. Um, Basically, I've just been busy enjoying my summer. Uh, right now, we're on the Race for Wool map that I showed a long time ago and like potential ideas. Basically, I finished it. Uh, this is a weird MC edit glitch. It'll go away if I force update the lighting. No, no, it's just going away on its own. Sort of. Let me just... Ah, sorry, I'm so used to single player commands. I always have like a reach of 32 minimum. So this is kind of annoying. Uh, basically, I'm just here to say Minecraft 1.3 is out. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting crappy frames, but I'm also in HD. The main reason I stopped uploading, although lower frames is just as bad, basically my video quality was really awful. Um, well, it's always kind of been awful, but I, I kind of had certain standards that I thought I was meeting that I wasn't. Because basically when I recorded in 480, it looked perfectly fine, unrendered, full screen, and on a decently sized monitor. I mean, uh, well, obviously not too crazy, not like some huge 27 inch whatever monitor that's probably not even that huge by today's standards i don't know i'm on a laptop but um yeah so i actually watched the video on youtube because i had to i was doing some stuff for race for wool and I, like i watched one of the videos i uploaded to share to my teammates and i looked at how bad it looked rendered i mean 480 when you put it full i mean it looked fine like minimized but when you put it full screen it looked like 240 and it, it made no sense to me because Prior to the rendering, it wasn't that bad, but I guess it just shrinks it so bad when it's rendered. And I mean, I tried using different programs. Uh, like I actually used Premiere Pro, although not the latest version of it, because uh, I don't have that kind of money. And uh, I rendered it differently in the highest qualities. It took forever to get it out there. It was barely better. And so it just kind of it disheartened me. Um, I should actually fly around so you guys can see this as I talk. I'm just going to kind of aimlessly fly around. And uh, it kind of disappointed me that I thought I was a higher standard. I mean, my audio quality got better because I actually started taking the time to clean it up and it's a creeper sphinx there, clean it up and do all this other stuff that I wouldn't normally do. Um, I'm also on a low render distance. Sorry about that, but the frames are too bad otherwise. So, you know, I was, my audio quality was getting better, but my video quality decreased so badly that it made me just not even want to put out what I had. I do have another episode of Nightmare that I recorded the day after the last one I uploaded that I will be putting out. I'm not just going to delete the thing. Um, there was a little bit of gain. Actually, there was a huge transformation from the previous episode. Um, I kind of spent all day working on it and got really excited about it. And then I realized how bad it was, uh, the video quality and just... Yeah, um, there will be a video, maybe not later today, I'm going to record it later today, of course, today being the first, the day that 1.3 was released, uh, with multiple people, um, I know that Silver Contrails, or Kelly, will be there, he's already said that he would try and make it, so I'm going to try and work around him, um, April will also probably be there, chances are that will be it, though, everyone else is kind of busy, um, other things I've been up to, aside from this, I actually released that one map, that I showed initially, I fixed it up. Uh, it's called Close Encounters, like I think I said in the video was the tentative title. So that's actually released. Um, this, it's still beta because I just cannot get anyone to test it. Uh, no matter how hard I try, I can't get people to meet. Um, this is just the layout of the wolves. This is the last wool. Um, all the wolves, uh, where are the wolves? They're called Hollow, Rise and Fall, and Final Destination, all named after songs by the same band. So, fun fact, little inside dev stuff there. I actually, one of the, the first wool I made on its own, which was this one, which was just pyramid stack, and you had to place torches on an altar, kind of like uh, civil uncivil engineering, I mean, um, for those who are big into race for wool, since it's the race for wool map. And once you do all four, you can get the wool up top, and everything, the wiring is all double thick bedrock, and... It should be tamper-proof now after many, many developmental changes. Like, this is like beta 1.7 I started, obviously, I think 1.0. It's, uh, it's gone a lot. It hasn't even been played. That's that's how bad it was. Um, The wool colors are for uh, player organization, of course. Um, I'm just going to go into this since everything else I was talking about, the channel is done. So if you're uh, not interested in race for wool, you can leave now. Um, But yeah, so the wool colors are here. They're identical. They're not the wool colors you need. The victory monument is up here. 
and the wolf colors you need are green, cyan, and black, just like Close Encounters, if you happen to play that, although highly unlikely since it doesn't have very many downloads. Um, I will link my Felloc Maps uh, Minecraft forum post in the description if you're interested in it, I guess. Um, it's not the greatest map. Um, for those who have played, it's, it was... Basically, I was playing Divided Together a lot of the time, and I, I've i actually talked to Dungan, um, well, not like very personally, but like I've talked to him several times before, and I I like a lot of his maps, and so I was like, you know, let's let's try and make something more like divided together, because there aren't really many maps like that. I mean, I don't, oh, well, not that I've played, not um played majorly, anyways. Like, not a lot of holy PvP with very limited block placement, as in you get next to no blocks aside from what creepers may blow up, or what very very little is given to you, as in like glowstone that you can break, etc. This one was even more limited than that one. The wolves are all PvP oriented, 100%, and so I just kind of made the map even more PvP oriented, and that's all that will uh, that race for wool map is. This one is very open ended. It obviously it has a twist. That's why I call it the twisted desert. Um. Basically, both people drop down into those pools right there from the top. You ride in from a pyramid that is over there. See how the tracks are going over there? So you start over there, you ride in, you sleep in beds, you drop down into these pools, and then you go out. You are not allowed to enter the enemy lane. You are allowed to enter Pearl, of course, but if you enter Pearl into the enemy lane, it is an instant void suicide with all the items you have. I do give ender pearls, although very limitedly, of course, to stop things. Like, for example, on top of all of these, there is always one ender pearl. Um, other than that, there aren't very many ender pearls, except in uh, very rare cases. Uh, Crying creeper there—that was one of the first things I made. But um, yeah, uh, mine shaft here. I made this uh, because of Nika. Nika two four four. He has a YouTube channel. He's in my subscription box. Uh, you might want to go check that out. Some pretty cool dudes in there. Uh, for example, him. And he kind of made me make that, and it made me spread out iron and diamond. Because at first, I kind of had it all in the same spot. And it was all very easy to blow up, and there was far too much of it. And I kind of realized that that wasn't really the kind of play I wanted. It would have been a rush for that. And I mean, now it's it's basically evenly, um, evenly divided between everything. So that's all there is there. Um, that shouldn't... Oh, no, that should be like that. Okay. I haven't really looked in that corner recently. I don't remember adding these. I'm not gonna lie. I must have done it recently. Interesting. Uh, zombies always break down those doors. I hate them. Uh, very limited TNT though. But there is some there. Uh, I tried to make it look nice. Obviously, I mean, I got the creeper there. Let me just F1 here. Got the creeper there. Um, this is supposed to be like an excavation site. That's like a little mini oasis. Uh, wood is very limited. There's no forest or anything. Most of the wood you get from the structures or it's given to you. This is a good spot to get wood. That's really the main reason I made that wood. It's tons of wood, all the wood you ever really need. Um, and of course with the whole twisted thing and the fact that that's the start right there. And as you can see, that's red. This is red, as you can see from the color on top of that little thing right, let me, yeah, right there. Now you can see the cursor there. So as you can see from that and that, you know that this is your lane. I mean, you'll be able to tell. Um, it seems disorienting, but it's not really. Basically, the lane next to you at all times is always the enemy lane. The next lane over is always your lane. It's that simple. So since you actually get ender pearls relative to the start, you can actually have one person, or I don't know if you do something crazy more, um, actually leave the start and run back from the end and do other things. Now, of course, there's... Uh, there's a process that you have to go through. I mean, I don't give you iron picks at any time. So to get the diamond, you have to get iron. To get the iron, you have to get stone. I don't know if I get stone picks. Um, the balancing is still in the works. This is still beta, like I said. Um, there are some differences though, because you drop here, and there is a bridge section. Um, in which you're given nothing really. Uh, you have to cross this. Well, the the intention is you have to cross it in several different ways. I mean, you could go over. You could go through you can't really dig through otherwise it's slow because i do not get picks but through the acquisition of sand and the creation of sandstone you can do all sorts of things but um because of that the enemy is crossing right here you're crossing right there so to stop the enemy from making some sort of bridge or rise and you actually have to run backwards it's kind of a weird concept that's why i don't really know how this will all play out uh this has kind of turned into a very long episode though and it's longer than i've kind of probably wanted it to be since i 
went off on a tangent like I always do, but this is my map. It's called Twisted Desert. I have another map, Close Encounters, which I released a really long time ago, and I just never put videos out about it. I stopped because the quality was worse than I wanted, and even though it's not really improved, I just enjoy making videos, and I don't know. Um, I'm just going to try and improve the content as best I can. Uh, I don't know if I mention it, but I will be starting a new series. Greg has been basically MIA for a really long time now. Um, I mean, we entered Tom's Turney... Tom's Tourney 2, but we did rather poorly because we could never really practice, and we won't be entering the next Reddit tournament. Uh, we may be, maybe will be one of us or two of us will be subs for other teams, but there will be no Mine Inc. in it. Um, we're still involved in Race Rule, although very, very slightly, and we, to be honest, we haven't really played at all. I mean, we still intend to, though. At some point, we'll probably get back together. Um, there may be a shift of members or something, but obviously, Mine Inc. race rule is completely different than the Mine Inc. group that I refer to. Uh, the Mine Inc. group is much bigger, and it's basically just me and all my friends. That's that's Mine Inc. So much larger than the four-person team. And yeah, so there will be a new series coming out. I will probably include uh, people from Mine Inc., uh, people who aren't, maybe get some other people in the Minecraft-related stuff. Um... Maybe I'll get on some of the PvP servers I play, etc. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't really know if you guys even really care too much. I only really got one message asking where I was. I'm not that I'm really angry or anything. I'm not too surprised, but yeah. So obviously you guys weren't missing me too, too crazily. But I am back, and maybe my subscription numbers will start to go up, doubtfully. Uh, but yeah. They've been continuously going, well, not continuously, very, very slowly decreasing in a funny way. And once again, I've done another common fell lock move in which I prolong the ending by like three minutes. So you've seen a lot of it. I've gone around. I've ranted. Episode will be recorded later tonight, maybe posted later tonight. If not, definitely tomorrow. I will get my, uh, my, what was I going to say? Um, oh, my nightmare episode out. Uh, maybe tomorrow as well, and then follow it up with the episode, the new episode, if I don't get that out tonight. So, Nightmare would be early in the morning, probably, like, actually, um, if you're in EDT, uh, Eastern Daylight Time, for those who aren't aware, which is an hour's difference from EST currently, uh, that will be probably, like, 2 or 3 a.m. is when that's going to come out. So, you probably won't even notice it in your feed by the time I already get the next one out which would probably file like an hour or two after that. So if you like Nightmare for some reason, you're going to want to check the playlist specifically or go to my channel specifically. Um, Cave Story. My plan for that is basically to record a lot of that, upload it privately, and then slowly filter it in since I doubt people want to get uh, spammed by Cave Story repeatedly. If you're really interested in Cave Story and you want to see them immediately as they come out, if you message me in my inbox, I'll basically put you on the list and you can watch them as soon as they come out. I'm basically just doing it for my friend because he really enjoys it, even though I'm a complete and total noob, never played it, and I suck at platformers, especially since I'm using a keyboard and not a gamepad. But yeah, so that's really just for my friend to be nice and get some stuff out since he really enjoys it, especially since he's played the game a lot and so he likes to laugh at my noobiness. So you want in on that? I'll do that. Uh, Lone Survivor... I actually have some episodes of that recorded. I have not edited it at all. It's on April's um, computer. Five episodes. Uh, I'll probably put those out as well. I'll probably upload them in bulk and then filter them slowly into the feed every other day or so when I finally get around to that. But that probably won't be for a while. I don't know. Maybe maybe tonight, since I'm going over there, maybe I'll take the time. But really, it takes so much time because I had to edit it and then... Uh, watch it since I don't cut anything in there. Normally when I edit, I stop recording and then start recording again. If nothing interesting happens, I delete, but I didn't do that for there. And so, yeah. But that will be the end of this huge, long update video now that is far longer than I would have ever hoped. Um, hope you're happy to see me back. Uh, hope you don't suddenly unsubscribe because you realize I'm putting out bad videos. Uh, that's what usually happens. I put out a video, I lose two subscribers. It's like the, it's the fellock effect. That's what I'm going to call it, I guess. But yeah, so don't unsubscribe. I promise there will be quality content one day in the far, far future when I can afford a good computer of some sort. And then I'll probably live stream and other awesome things. But yes, so I'll see you guys next time. And until then, Stay classy.